Sometimes I feel it's getting harder to shut off the world. Like I'm trying to sleep, but I never really do. And all of a sudden, five hours happened, and I never had any thoughts, just never any full thoughts. Like I was just aware of a couple of minutes passing. And that's what it felt like to me. I never actually closed down. And I checked the clock, and it was five hours. That's insane. Uh, it's hard to tell what getting old is supposed to be. Hard, well, it's, it's fucking impossible, isn't it? Because you can ask and compare all you want, but the only normal is... In, in all of this is you. We are the normal. We are the only controlled variable in our own lives. Everything else are fucking insane.
Rule number one, don't post about disgusting medical conditions. There's nothing like sitting down to lunch and checking your Facebook only to find a post detailing someone's intestinal issues or weeping sores. Not everyone wants graphic details. Save these private save these for private messages to your nearest and dearest. So yeah, don't I'm gonna sit here drinking coffee, I don't wanna see or hear about your your breast cancer. This is my very uh, first ever scar. YouTube video yeah. that I've ever, know. ever done in my entire life. That's a video that I've done, like, on my own, by myself. So, first of all, I want to say, please bear with me. I've never done this before. I have no idea what I'm doing. So what I really want you to get is that everyone has the power to seduce in them. The trick is to learn how to use it and when. Seduction is a skill no matter how you look at it. You can call it wooing, persuading, winning someone over, charming, it doesn't really matter. Male domination of women, subordinance of women, not only as a sexual practice, as a way of being, as a genderial hierarchy in this world. Like if we I can't imagine dealing with violence again. I can't imagine, you know, in high school I had people write fag across my locker. I can't deal with that again. I'm too tired. I masturbate. And I masturbate regularly. I have done most of my life. I used to joke around with my friends that my right arm was much stronger than my left. Well, great careers are really and truly, for most people, just a matter of luck. So I'm going to stand around, I'm going to try to be lucky, and if I'm lucky, I'll be, have a great career. If not, I'll have a good career. But a good career is an impossibility, so that's not going to work. Then your other excuse is, yes, there are special people who pursue their, their passions, but they are geniuses. They are Stephen Jay. I'm not a genius. When I was five, I thought I was a genius, but my professors have beaten that idea out of my head long since. And now I know I am completely competent. keep my mind alive and I will just be able to re-up my parts you know in the end I guess I'll have you know forever eternal consciousness I have to ask myself like do I really do I really want that but then I ask myself do I know anything else but consciousness you know I can't turn this shit off it's an interesting thought, like maybe someday I could actually hug my other self across this galaxy. It's kind of beautiful. It's also scary as fuck, isn't it? Thank you.
I remember when I was a kid, before having this intrusive world, and I'd have a moment to myself, and I'd look around, take in something, subliminally take in something, breathe, actually breathe, You know, feel nothing. Enjoy the void. Know I'm alive. But now I'm addicted to more things than I could ever imagine. I feel cognitively attached in some way to everything.
special meaning of this day for you? Memorial Day is so important to me, so I can always recognize my father, and it's so important to know, for others to know that they should really recognize the fallen heroes of our country. How was TAPS able to help you throughout that period when you just lost your dad? TAPS, um, 